Hey, Kelly Ritchie here. I want to talk about recording studios in your home and just the whole video setup and everything. Um, I'm really into gear. I love to teach. I also coach. I spend a lot of time in front of my uh, production studio and I live in a small space. I sold my house and downsized a few years ago and so you know I want to jam. I want to be able to you know plug in a guitar and feel like I'm on stage and my neighbors really don't necessarily want me to do that, <laughs> at least not at four o'clock in the morning. So, um, you know, how do we accomplish that? Um, so for one, I'm sitting here in my studio in an 800 square foot condo. I've got my super reverb amp right over there. I've got my live rig, my pedal board right here at my feet. Um, I've got my MacBook Pro, my iPad Pro, my iMac, uh, I've got two Elgato uh, studio lights that I can operate with an app on my computer or my phone. I've got two aperture lights behind me that I can operate also on my phone and dial in the color of the lights. They have all kinds of effects which I don't find useful for what it is that I'm doing here. I don't need lights going on and off and turning into cop cars or anything. Um, but, you know, if I got really bored during the pandemic, I guess I could do that. Um, but so far, so good. Um, but, you know, I, I'm not a gamer, but I've got a gaming setup. You know, the Elgato lights, that's what most people use. Uh, and then I've got a nice, big, huge... Uh, flat screen TV. I don't have cable. I'm not really a TV watcher, but just in case. <laughs> but no, you know, I can watch uh, music videos. I can watch YouTube. I can watch anything. You know, I have everything that I need. Powered monitors, um, you know, a, a rolling. I've got a larger desktop with a smaller desktop uh, from Ikea on that I put uh, some heavy duty wheels. I can roll it in and out. My pedal board's right here on the floor. Um, I've got a couple of mics on the booms that I can pull down. Um, and then I've got my camera. You know, the, the MacBook Pro has a, a decent built-in camera, but then you step it up to uh, Brio by Logitech, their new 4K camera with stereo speakers built in. Man, that thing's sweet. Uh, and I recently invested in a Sony A6600 mirrorless uh, camera. It's like the number one camera right now for vlogging. And uh, it's really, really nice. I want to be able to have the tools that I need to work. With this being TrueFire platform, we're guitar players here. And uh, whether you're just starting out on your guitar and trying to figure out how to get an audio interface into a computer and, you know, what do you do? Or whether uh, you're a seasoned player, maybe you've been playing out in, until, you know, things shut down for us all, um, and you want to capture your sound in the studio. How do you do that? Um, because if you go to plug in and play and you've got this long process you got to go through, then you're not inspired by the time you finally start playing. And... If you do get it all set up, but it doesn't sound like, you know, you want it to sound, then inspiration, you know, is diminished there as well. So, and, and then if you, you know, if you lace, if, if you're playing, it's like, oh, I love this idea. You want to be able to capture it. So, you know, I use Ableton Live and Logic Pro. Ableton's my go-to. And I've got um, uh, Stylus, which is a loop and groove creating a uh, plugin that I think is fabulous. It, I can't imagine exhausting ideas, you know, with that. It's just forever and you can, can manipulate all of the, the grooves. And so that was worth the investment. Mainly I just used that and my Ableton plugin and I've got my guitar rig to where, um, I go into my pedal board, my boost and my wah and my compressor and my overdrive that's my main sound and i go out of that into my super reverb amp sounds pretty straightforward but then i need to get it into my studio from there i go into a, a dummy load which means that uh 
when an amp's turned on, if you unplug the speakers, it could blow up the amp. It'll just overheat uh, solid state, not as quickly as tube. Um, and then I go into a dummy load, which puts a load on it like speakers would. Out of that, into a speaker simulator. I have an Okana class. And um, then I come back into my guitar rig and finish out the signal chain. I've got my harmonizer and my delays, my reverb, my looper. Then I go into my uh, Apogee uh, quartet, my audio interface, um, and then into my, my computer. And so all I have to do is turn my amp on, grab my guitar, and I'm good to go. If you go to the channel, if you're a subscriber, great. Thank you. If not, my channel's five bucks. I've got 450 videos, I think, and I have a whole new series on this where I talk a lot more about what I've got here. Um, but I've also got a dozen videos from the my incarnation of guitar rigs over the last decade and the one that I have now. Uh, and I go into depth, there's a 12-part series on blues rock guitar pedal boards. And I break mine down, why did I get each, each piece of gear that I have, how do I use it, how do I have it set up. I've got all this stuff mapped out in the channel. But bottom line, creating ambiance, both of those lights were about $129 a piece, I think. I'll, I'll put links uh, these lights were a little bit pricier, about $250 each, but you know, the ambiance that they create, you don't have to have lights like this, but, um, to design a studio and work at things, you know, build it a little bit at a time. These lights really create a vibe that has been well worth the investment. So, you know, creating your own playground or your own toolkit. You know, uh, the right toolkit is the perfect playground. And, um, and it's, it's worth investing whatever you can on the right gear. You don't have to have the biggest, baddest, everything at all. Not at all. There are some great, great tools that are very inexpensive to get started with. And, um... You know, bottom line, tone starts in our fingertips. Everything else is an enhancement of that. You know, I love this platform. So I just wanted to share with you my studio in a pandemic. Um, this is a great place to have refuge. So wherever you are right now, be safe and, um, and enjoy. And uh, I invite you to join the channel. At five bucks a month, there's a ton of stuff. And the pedal board and gear section and everything that I'm constantly adding things to is uh, blues rock guitar pedal boards. I think that's what that section's called. It's the pedal board section by a blues rock guitar player. Me, Kelly Ritchie. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye.